this is the setup for the Chemical Brothers. And not not quite stop me from going too fast for you, but these this is kind of I tore my own mixing desk and the, these the racks that I'm going to show you. So we, wherever we go in the world, that comes with us. That's like taking your band's equipment around with you. That's integral to the to the show. Um, so this is a Dynamics rack which has got a graphic EQ for the room EQ, some compressors for the individual channels and uh, a compressor for over the whole mix. Uh, and these are just some toys um, that I used during the show, but I'll just flick through these so you can have a quick look. That's uh, an effects rack, which is, I mean, this, this is all plugged into an analog desk, this, but these are, I mean, I don't know. That's a, a harmonizer. That's a, a modulator, that's a delay, that's a filter, that's a panner, that's a reverb, that's a, a that's the brain for that thing there, that's just the remote for it. Uh, so a few toys there. What what was the last part that you said? Like the brain for the remote? Like what does the remote do? Uh, the re well, so the all the the, the remote is just a controller for what's in the box. So rather than going over here and doing what you need to do, there's a, a, a cable linked in the back that comes over here. So you do it all on there. Oh, okay. Sorry, wrong way. So yeah, so that, that, that's where you do all the stuff that you would do on the front panel. It's linked over to the, the box over there, which is, that's, that's, the, that's the brain for it. And the other bit's the remote. It's still, you know what, it come out in the the eighties, the Lex so Lexicon four eighty it's called, which is you still find you still talk to top quality studio engineers these days and they'll still go, That's a great reverb. It's one of those one of those reverbs and pretty much every the, there was other machines that emulated that and you pretty much guaranteed you turn up anywhere on to go and do a gig and that the Lexicon four eighty hall would always be loaded in. Uh it just seems to make vocals sound like they come off a record. It's it's almost like it's like a magic wand. It's like some fairy dust kind of thing. And it's old. It's old technology. It's not new technology, but it's just captured the some kind of magic that that's really hard to recreate. Um, I mean, there are the Bricasti. Do you know the Bricastis? We've got a Bricasti they're the they're kind of pretty close, mm. uh, or as good, I'd say. They you know put a vocal through that, and it's, it does sound like it's. You don't have to do as much work on it to get it to sound as good anyway. So these are just some toys that I, that I, I use. The way the Chemical Brothers mix works is that I get 12 channels from them. They're all DIs, there's no, no mics, so feedback's not a problem. Um, uh, but they, they start every gig. They've got a desk that they've got 20, I think they've got 24, 22 or 24 synthesizers uh, running live. So they every every show they start with the faders down and they build a mix, uh, and some some days they'll they'll hang on to some bits longer, uh, some some days they'll they'll you know so the same thing doesn't necessarily happen at the same point every day, which is why you can't you can't program it because they don't know what they're going to do. They'll look at the crowd, all right, this bass drum's working, right, hang on to that, yeah, that's working, that's working, right, pull it out. So they're they're constantly looking at, at what's going out out there and reacting to it. Um, so the, I, that's why I, I've got these options because, and I couldn't really do it on a digital desk because you, you, you get tied up in paging through menus, whereas really on an analog desk with this, everything's there. You can see your desk, you've got, you, you know what's going on. You're constantly in touch with it uh, because you can't just kind of sit back and go, all right, here's the chorus, right? Snapshot, there's the reverse because it doesn't, it doesn't run like that. So it's kind of quite a unique, uh, way it's it, basically they're, they're DJing their own songs is what they're doing, I guess. So that's, uh, that's what all that stuff's about. It's just to give me options. So I'm, what I'm trying to do is enhance what they're doing, uh, and the you know these these things help me do it. Um, I'll just, just flick on there for another one. So that's it all together. So that's the desk, which is a, an old British-made desk, probably made in the eighties, late eighties, called the Midas XL4 which is the best sounding live desk that's ever been made, bar none. I, I think most engineers who've used a range of desks will say that. I'm lucky that this one has been, it's, I guess it's a bit like an old 
Jaguar or an old car. It's you need to keep you need to keep on top of it, keep it serviced, otherwise it will deteriorate. This one's in fantastic nick. Uh, so that's what I see every day at work. All my racks over there, and then the desk over there. There's a slightly better view of it. 